Everybody who has a big vision is called crazy. And I think you have to be a little bit crazy in order to achieve big things. 22-year-old Andre Agassi has won Wimbledon. He had this vision of the best players in one place. He saw the potential that that would have when no one else did. Eva Maioli of Croatia is the French Open champion. Anybody that's involved in the sport of tennis knows his name. Nick Bolateri. 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 Don't ever use the word can't. Nick will find a way. Tonight we profile Nick Volateri, president of a world-renowned tennis academy in Bradenton. Volateri not only pushes himself to succeed, but coaches others to do their best as well. My philosophy is that everybody has a chance. And you gotta take advantage of what you have and you gotta make those opportunities. Right around it. Very, very good. I've fallen on my backside many times. But you know what? When I've fallen down, something inside me said, Nick, Get back up, baby, and find a way to do it. Taking 40 acres of tomatoes and then starting the first living academy. And the 40 acres now is about 600 acres with nine sports. IMG isn't your average team. Tells us the That's how I built the academy, baby. What Nick has started with this academy, it seems is a common thing now. But he was the first one to really start the concept of not just tennis academies, but sport academies. Gathering the best people in the same place, providing them with the daily needs of sleeping, eating, resting, studying, and then back onto the practice courts. It's not just a tennis academy anymore. It's a school, it has every sport. It's an amazing, complex that has been built from his little tennis roots at the beginning. The coach can take only so much credit. You know, when they say that the coach develops a champion, you, you only develop the talent that's there. I think the champion's there to begin with. Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, Serena, Venus, Anna Kournikova, Jim Currier, Monica Sellers, Jimmy Arias, Paul Anacone, David Wheaton, Max Mirny, Tommy Haas, Boris Becker, Bjorn Borg. To think about the fact that he's helped and been around, you know, 10 number once in his lifetime is quite remarkable. But you have to remember, a lot of people said Nick couldn't do it. Whatever success I've had with the top players that I had, is to get to know the student and their background. I learned to know them. He has such a big heart and passion for the game, and he sees so many details, not only on your court, but even two, three courts further. And so you always felt like when he was around, there was an incredible type of presence. I think he just had a, a nice ability to figure out the best way to motivate you to give your best. And in the end of the day, that's sort of the most important thing, really, that a coach can do. But Nick doesn't want to be remembered only for the great players. Nick wants to be remembered for giving children a chance to become the best they can become. And anybody that can have an impact on people's lives that goes on for generations. The impact that Nick Bolateri had on me, my family, and so many uh, of my close ones um, was immense. And he would always make the greatest effort. And it wasn't because I was a good tennis player. It was because he really cared about these individuals. And I can't think of, of any other people or coaches or mentors um, throughout my career that have really made that strong impact on my life. He did give so many the opportunity and the chance to really go after the dreams. And I think what he's done is legendary. And uh, I think we can all tip our head and say, uh, thank you for everything you've given to the sport of tennis. I'm amazed and proud of everything that he's done here and what this has grown into from where it started. You know, really it's, it's Nick's place. 
He was a very warm-hearted parent here to all of us, and he should be very proud of himself throughout his long life and uh, coaching career, how many lives he's changed. Looking back at his career and what he's accomplished is remarkable. I don't think we could name one coach right now to this day that has accomplished so much that he has in his career. I'm even shocked to see where 40 acres have now developed into what it is. But you know what? If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it the same way. The same way.